Denver Bronco Von Miller is part of an investigation now by the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission. It confirms it is looking into whether a fishing party illegally caught and released a protected hammerhead shark. Investigator Rick Sounder joins us now tonight. And Rick, we've all seen those photos before. People just love to post pictures of their big catch. And that, Karen, is what got Von Miller into hot water. The pictures were all over social media, and it caught the eye of people for the ethical treatment of animals, or PETA, which made sure the Florida authorities were aware of it. There you go. Bring them up. There it was a big catch off the coast of Miami. It took place on a guided fishing trip. The trouble is, it's against the law in Florida to catch many sharks. Those on board seem to know what they had. Oh, hammerhead, oh! It was a nine and a half footer. The law says if you catch one by accident, it must be released immediately and unharmed. Yeah. Here, you put the rope on him, let me get him. If Von Miller or anyone on board realized they might have been in violation of the law, there was no attempt to hide any evidence. The video was posted on social media. PETA, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, was outraged. Catching and uh, injuring and possibly killing a hammerhead shark and then prolonging the animal's suffering to gloat and take photos uh, is cruelty to animals, plain and simple, and there's no excuse for that. Florida authorities told CBS4 photos are only allowed during the release of the shark. There you go, guys. All right, guys, what do you got for me? Miller is known for catching and releasing opposing players. This time, it was a fish. We contacted Miller's agent, but have not heard back. Like football infractions, this carries a penalty, too. The maximum is a $500 fine and 60 days in jail, Karen. All right, Brick, thank you.